So today I'm going to do a little how-to video on changing the mirrors on my 2015 Silverado. Right now I have these little tiny mirrors, which I really like. They're power mirrors, go left and right. They got that little bubble up there, which I like. But we bought a, a travel trailer, which you'll see on my next pan out here, that big travel trailer there. And I need mirrors like that. And these mirrors extend out probably another six inches so that when I have the camper hooked up, I can see behind them. Uh, I went on YouTube, of course, to see how to take it apart. And I thought it'd be really easy because there's just this little, this little triangle right here. I was like, wow, there's just a couple studs in the mirror. All I have to do is take this triangle off, but no. No, no, no. There is a hidden button right here and right over here. So I have to take this whole door panel off. You know what? And it sounds like it's a lot. I, I watch YouTube. The passenger side wasn't that bad. So I would like to show you uh, the easy way to do it. A1 Auto has a really good video, which is what I followed. Uh, and there's seven screws. One's behind here nuts two are in the handle here two are underneath two four five uh there's one right behind here you got to take this thing off so maybe it's only six but you take them off and then your door panel comes off and then the rest is pretty easy so i will show you that so to start with i want to say the hardest part of this whole job probably getting these little plastic things out uh, this is a little cover that goes down in here and there's just a little cut out right there so you have to get a, a screwdriver or a hook down in there push it towards the back side of the door and it pops out uh, same same with this one this fits in there and there's a little indentation there that you you can put a tool in there and, and just put it out now there's that, it's a seven millimeter um, socket you'll need to get these out. And there's those three. This is the hardest part. You gotta, there's a trim piece on here and you gotta pry up from the bottom. And it's really nerve wracking because you think you're gonna break it, but it's just clips in the bottom there and it pops out and then that's it. And the one that's here is way down in there. So you might need an extension right down in there at the bottom and you got to get that or your panel's not going to come off okay so there's those and then it's just two along the bottom here very simple to get to seven millimeter and then you're going to need a 10 millimeter up here i'll show you when the when the mirror comes out not a lot of tools uh, if you have like some little hooks or tight small screwdrivers it helps to get this initial part out but let's move on all right so i i have fat fingers and i can't get down in these spots so i would really recommend uh, using a magnet loosen the screw and look at that pull it right out and even down in here i mean it's just so much more convenient boom boom come right out so I would put magnet on your list of tools that you should use just to make it simpler all right so I got all the fasteners out got the trim off there uh, the next stage is to take this door panel off and you got to start in this lower outside corner and you, you just got to pull it there's like push pins in there on some of the videos I saw, they just they just did it with brute strength, and it, it, it didn't seem to work for mine, probably because it was never off before. So I use this pry bar, um, just a little pry bar. It's almost like a, I have beehives, so, but you just got to shove it underneath there and get it started. Do you hear that? And then as you pull it off, it comes out, and you're eventually just going to have to kind of lift vertically because there's little clips in here too release the bottom and then lift vertically i'll show you when it's off 
All right, so the door panel came off. This is where I differ from the other videos because he totally removes this. See, there's a wire here for the door handle. There's a wire for the mirror. Um, I think there's another wire for the power windows and stuff. I just, I, I only just connect the one right there for the mirror. I don't really see the whole need to take this door off, this panel all the way off. I kind of just safely let it dangle. Now this thing here is your lock. This keeps coming out. This might flop around. I wouldn't really worry about it. When, when you get it back in place, there's only one place it can go. When you push the door in, it'll snap back into place. Uh, the only thing you are gonna have to worry about are these. I took one clip out. These clips are on the underside of this, this panel. So you do have to take this weather stripping out. You slide it out. And you gotta remove those clips. And those clips will snap back in here. You put the weather stripping back in and then you snap the door panel back in when you're done. Uh, I'll show you that process. These, these kind of just twist out. You need a little screwdriver or a pair of pliers, but they come out relatively simple. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then to get the upper panel off, there's a push pin right here. Just pry it out with the little tool I showed you. And there's one right here, which is why you got to take the whole door panel off. And then this whole trim piece just pops out which exposes the nuts back here. The mirror falls out, put the new mirror in, and you're almost done. All right, so these are the three 10 millimeter nuts you're gonna have to take out. I disconnected the cord, just a regular little push pin cord. Uh, and when you disconnect this, this mirror's gonna fall off. There's one little pin out there holding it in place, but there's one more caveat to this, is that there's a hole right here you're gonna have to drill out because the new mirror has an extra peg in it. So these are the three that are already drilled. That's gonna have to be the new one. So you use a 3 8 inch drill bit. Uh, GM already figured this out. So they kind of put a little indent there. It's a double wall. You can just drill from the outside here, just drill it right through. And, and th honestly, this mirror will pop out. The new mirror will pop in. You put these nuts back on there, plug it in, and you're good to go. And I have power mirrors, so uh, they work as a, you know, you can turn them. These are the power units, so that all hooks up. Everything's the same. All right, so there's a new hole, 3 8 inch hole. I just want to show you the difference in the size of these mirrors, too. Look at, that's the new one. That's the old one. Big difference. All right, so I got the bolts back in, the wiring sucked up. Um, I put these little plugs back in to hold the wiring in place. I got the clips off of the door panel, put them back in, and I put the weather stripping back in. And this is what you gotta do before you put the door panel back on. And what you do is when you put this door panel back on, you come from the top, push those clips in, make sure that you're you know, your lock goes in the hole. You put it in, and then you're just going to line up all these little pegs all the way down. Pop, pop, pop. Pop them in this side. And then you put your uh, six bolts back in, you're done. I would consider this maybe a two-beer job. Maybe three, if you're making a video. So, I'm going to show you the finished product, but don't forget to smash up that like button and subscribe to the channel. I normally do bee and chicken videos, but... Uh, I kind of wanted to chronicle this in case anybody else is having this problem. So I really like the mirrors, but I got them from a guy at work. He didn't give me a price on them yet. I hope I'm not thinking $50 and he's thinking $500 because that might be a problem. We can do a reverse video. I'll show you how to put little mirrors on. So let me get this back together. I'll show you the finished product. But I gotta say, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, what I just told you was wrong. I forgot. Um, the whole reason we had to take this door panel off is because you gotta put this up one on first. So I put this back in, 
put the plug here, plug here. So just push pins, you don't even need any tools. There's a little channel along here that you gotta put it in first on the inside of the window. And then it just kind of goes behind the, uh, the weather stripping on the outside here. Very pliable, very flexible. You just gotta play with it a little bit and uh, it goes right back in place. It's not bad. So now, after you do that, then you can put the door panel back on. So I can't show you all this because I, I'm, I'm only here by myself. I don't have anybody video. But once you get these in, you can pretty much line it up with this hole here. This door panel has to go underneath this. So that might give you a little bit of a problem. It has to go underneath this on this side. But once you get them in, I already snapped this side in. It's just a matter of lining those things up and pushing them in. And that's it. I mean, your door's back together. So you just have to put those... Uh, nuts back in and then put the trim piece on right there and you're done and your mirror is installed so it's really it's not that it's not that hard of a project it's really not and let me show you why I got these mirrors because they what they do is they extend out so that three inches when you're pulling that camper there will allow you to see behind the camper right now i can only see down the side of the camper with those tiny little mirrors uh, so this is going to make a world of difference plus this mirror gives me uh like much more uh, what do they call that a panoramic view panoramic and i still have to read up on these like i don't know what the hell that is it looks like some sort of light but it's got these big turn signals on them and it fits right in there the trim's the same and everything I like it. John was the man. I don't know why he got him. He had a Ford truck. Maybe he got the mirrors thinking he was going to get a GM, but lucky for me, he got a Ford and now they fit right on my truck. And they look good. All right, let me finish this up and get those bolts back in before I lose them. So these mirrors definitely changed the look of the truck. Uh, something I'm probably just not used to yet, but I think it was something that was necessary to be able to pull this trailer. So let me see if So I don't know how these lights work. I got to check into that, but of small business owners turn have signal lights are working. Stamps.com and kept and I still don't know what these are either. Avoiding trips to the post office with Stamps.com, you can print postage Maybe. on demand and you'll never pay full price. No, I don't know. All right, well that's it for now. Just wanted to show you how to put them in. Might have to put a little extra wiring in or something, but at least they look good. So once again, don't forget to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, more videos are coming soon. Thanks.